Good morning, people. It's Wybot here, or Wybot plays like a bot, or Filthy Wybot, whatever you want to refer to me as. It's Wybot. The Wybot. The only Wybot. Anyway, look, this is an old footage. This is from way back in the day, and you'll see why. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll see this is uh, last year's recording. And you can see by, because I got the pink skulls and the pink <clears throat> MP5 set up there in honor of, in respect to. Pamaj. Now, if you don't know who Pamaj is, face Pamaj, watch him. Highly entertaining stuff on Twitch and definitely on the YouTubers. He's one of the most famous quickscopers on the planet. And I know what you think about facing quickscopers, but trust me, he'll change your mind. He's very good for the gaming community on all platforms. He's a great ambassador. Uh, a lot of people I've watched over the years who I highly respect on YouTube have, from different games, different genres, have watched Pamaj. And he has done one of the best montages out there and so forth. And the guy is very well respected. And also Canadian and effingly huge. Tall. Massive. So enough to spill on Pomage. He's got way more subs than I have. But that fits in with what I'm about to say. The numbers will drive you crazy. Now, I've got some big things coming up here on this channel. I haven't given up on it. I've had some pretty good big couple of weeks. I've, I've dipped my toes into the new world and genre. In case you haven't noticed, I will say it again. And I'll be putting up on the page here, but it's why bot plays like a bot is where I stream on the Facebook. Okay, link will be in the description down below. Uh, I stream pretty much most nights, and it's mainly Modern Warfare at the moment. I will be doing less plays and stuff like that. Around November, I've got a bit of special thing to do, and so I've not even playing that far ahead. But I find streaming on Facebook is a lot easier to use, a lot more user friendly for moi, because I only have one screen, and plus it gives you the more information which is relevant compared to YouTube. The thing is, too, it's easy to spread the word on the platform. And so on Thursday night, my two good friends, uh, Distinct and Ron, shared it to two other Call of Duty pages. Now, you've got to be a little bit careful about that. There's etiquette, but they did it. And I got 400 views on the whole video all up and a few more followers. Now, I've only got 117 followers, 103 likes. So I need more followers. If you follow the page, you get notifications when it comes up. You get notifications when I actually reschedule. And I'll be doing all that kind of stuff. So it's a little bit more user-friendly, and it's got a lot more people to cover and game. Now, the thing is, I just spoke to you about the numbers. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm up to 389 or whatever, something on uh, YouTube. I haven't even looked at that. I look at my YouTube video, and I look at those numbers. I look at the subs, okay? Now, there is a podcast I listen to here and there, and my name was frequent and quite a fair bit in this podcast, which I was quite honored by. You know who you are. You'll be watching this, pod You'll be watching this video later on as it goes up onto the YouTube platform. Now, the thing is, people, is, yeah, and by the way, I did put down a claymore because I'm an effing noob, okay? But see, I'm running around a lot. doesn't mean I'm camping. I just don't like people sneaking up on me. Okay, This is where Dead Signs, a few things weren't working well, and why was getting the, the adjustment. But I was doing it. Look at this. We're like, wow, look at that. Uh, the, we, were, we were doing well. Like this is, I did well in this game. Anyway, so what I'm trying to say is people get caught up on the numbers on all forms of social media, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Mixer, and it's good to have a bit of a drive. But you've got to take it away from the main point, and you've got to take it away from what... You've got to sit back and realize why people were attracted to your channel and who you were in the first place. Now, long story short, I've always had pretty shit internet up until within the last eight or nine months. Okay? I was in a relationship. She didn't really see much into the YouTube thing or the gaming thing, and that's a different video in itself. I always say that in my videos because I think of the subject as I'm talking. And the thing is, the thing is, people, I am not really... Look, I never aimed too high. When I first started my YouTube thing for Gears of War, which predominantly was Gears of War 3 and the big channel and so forth, I only wanted to aim for 250 subs. I got it. Right? I got it. And I relaxed after that and just was very mellow. I could have been a little more aggressive, but to give you an idea, a 10-minute video took about four hours to upload. So you can understand what it's like. I'd rather game, game than YouTube. And I never understood that with certain YouTubers, how they could just constantly YouTube and game, YouTube and game. Now I understand why, because now, the four hours has been taken down to about 10 minutes and when I mean 10 minutes that means fully rendered and out to the masses uploaded onto, onto Facebook out there into the massive over drenched market of all the platforms that we're using so what I'm trying to say is you gotta find something different but you gotta be true to yourself and you gotta remember where you came from because one thing I'll tell you about gamers is the ones who actually the ones you want to tap into the gamers who are the hardcore gamers they don't watch normal tv they don't do this they don't do that they want to watch youtube streaming for laughs gigs and whatever gigs and all sorts of stuff for entertainment right and they're brutal about it so if you're fake and you're over over saturating their stuff and and, and really putting too much pressure in it to the extent you're not enjoying it yourself they're going to see it and they're going to unsub and going to watch it 
So what has made people attracted to my channel? I've never really asked many people. The, the shits and giggles thing, the Gears of War was a big one. Now, if I, Gears of War was a fantastic game, I know for a fact that my streaming would be for the roof. I have no doubt about that, right? But it's not. So it's Call of Duty, and that's a bit of a broken thing. I've never really known to become from a Call of Duty uh, player, but there is platforms for me to grow, and I enjoy playing the game. And that's why it's like, it is fun. The people I'm with, I like playing the games with those people. And that's why it's fun. It's not false. I'm not over-pushing it. So I've really taken my time into how I get the analytics and everything set up on my gaming page and on Facebook. And am I in it to make money? I'm not going to lie. It, there's nothing wrong with making a little bit of coin from your hobby. But it's not going to be the sole purpose of my finances. I have a job. And, uh, well, the job don't like that I have a job at times. But I have a job. And I love that job. So keeping it real. Keep it in the house, peeps. Keep it up to G. But what I'm trying to say, if you are starting Twitch, YouTube, or stream, see it as fun. Do not see it to make a coin. Do it for fun and get your natural self and find your niche. Because I do enjoy seeing that I get straight as I finish with stream that uh, it has reached up to 400 people and only about 100 or so people clicked in and watched a few seconds of or a minute, right? And I've had the most I've ever had was up to eight people watching at one time. And they come and go, man, because people are busy. But that, to me, is great. And you're saying, why, but you're aiming low. Well, wait, I've got mods against me. I'm not young. I'm older. <clears throat> I'm rated as R18. I'm not a super beast. I'm not bad. But I'm open to trying new games. Now, it's just Call of Duty. Now, when Doom Eternal comes out, I'm thinking within the next couple of weeks, I'm going to do a Let's Play on the Mondays and the Tuesday nights of basically doing a playthrough of the original Doom. Because that game was sick and I never really finished the campaign. Then maybe playing some campaign of this one. And then more importantly, getting into the multiplayer of Doom. More importantly, the more multiplayer on this. Season 2 starts next week. You watch my views go up there on Facebook. I love it. I love the drive. I love the push. Years has, in my mind, died. And, it, and a lot of people say, why is that? And I said, well, now... I'm, that." Another video, it could be a video in itself, is pretty much the PC community on Gears of War. Nothing wrong with cross-platforming, but I've just had a good friend of mine, uh, Lush, he's really proved to me that PC players have the major advantage. He was on 169 ping, and everybody else was on about 20, played against a bunch of Americans, and he got close to 77 kills. And he, they won the game for him. And he just said, if anybody tells you there's no advantage in PC, they can get stuff. And it's true. It is really, really true. The PC does give you a major advantage. and uh, Which is kind of sad, because I played against PC players on this, and the advantage ain't that bad. Like, the really, only advantage I've seen PC players in was 2v2 gunfights, okay? Because they've got that slightly little steadier shot. But when it's moving around in fluidity, the average kid on Mountain Dew and Doritos is pretty good with his shot, and they're willing to take more risk, and they just love doing it. Same as the kid on PC. So I've got no real problem with it. I've changed my search because we thought it was with, with showing the massive lag, which this game tends to have at the moment since the last update. Fix it, Infinity Ward. Fix it. But at the end of the day, I do not worry too much about my numbers. Now, I've always been happy with my YouTube videos if they get up to 20 views in the first 24 hours. And you're saying you're aiming low. Mate, I know people I talk to regularly who have close to 100,000 view uh, followers on their YouTube channel and so forth. And guess what? They're, happy if they don't, they're not happy if they don't get 1,000 views in the first couple of hours. I don't want to be like that kind of person, because that kind of person, no, nothing against them. They're not happy in their jobs, They're also, they might be happy in their jobs, they might be happy in their life, or they might be spending a lot of money when they didn't need to, and they need to get their money back, so they're a bit money-driven. It works for some people, doesn't work for me. Now, money-driven people, if they're naturally that way, comes off naturally, they attract that kind of crowd, and it works for them. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like me trying to do a makeup tutorial. I know fuck all about makeup. I might get quite a few more views, but do you think it's going to last? They're going to look, who's this fucking hairy bastard and that's what's going to happen so that's what i'm trying to say i enjoy cod i enjoy doom i enjoy titanfall i do enjoy a little bit of apex legends i want to play some more campaigns so therefore that's what i'm going to do and i'm going to work out how to advertise that to maximize my views to a level which i can handle and am going to enjoy and it's going to be entertaining for the audience that's the only advice i can give you people so do not dry, worry too much about the numbers because it can drive you nuts got a couple of exciting things coming up next week people i'm busy with work and social stuff but i am delving into new arenas and i will not forget my youtube channel it, like i said before it's my baby but if you want to follow me on facebook Whalebot <clears throat> plays like a bot. Link in the description down below. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. You'll get all the updates. Like, follow, do all those things. Follow my socials. And guess what, people? You'll keep up to date. And my streaming. So I might be streaming on tonight or tomorrow. I'm not too sure. This is what I'm saying. You know, the Whalebot has a bit of a... Not a regular schedule. Once I start getting that regular schedule, that's when I'll start uh, taking life. This YouTube thing. This journey. This Facebook streaming thing to a whole new level. 
Frag and tag. Be good to those that own you. Always keep it positive. Be good to those that own you. Be respectful. And if you are going to Twitch, streaming, and YouTube, and so forth, don't get too caught up in the numbers. As you can see, Wobot did very well in that match. It was very early on the piece in Modern Warfare. So I'll catch you mofos in the next video. Be good to everybody. Stay safe. Hug your dog. Oh yes, hug your dog.